Hey, it's Laura. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video review, and I just finished this awesome book, and I didn't want to type out my review, because I wanted you guys to see how much I loved it, like, through my face, if that makes, um, any sense. Sorry for the crazy appearance and whatnot. Um, it's really hot out. I just got home, and I'm about to go to cross-country conditioning, so this has to be a little bit quick. So sorry if it seems rushed, but I really want to get this out and post it for you guys. Um, so the book I'm reviewing today is Bad Apple by Laura Ruby, and this book is already awesome before you even read it because the author and I share the same first name. This book is about a girl um, named Tola, and she's kind of an outcast. Everyone's just kind of pushed her aside. She's not um, really popular. Everyone thinks she's weird, and she has green hair and a nose ring, and basically her only best friend is June. She has this art teacher named Mr. Mimer, and Mr. Mimer is the one teacher who is actually really accepting of her and is makes her feel like comfortable and not like she's a total outcast, and he's her art teacher. I think I already said that. The book basically is about how there are these rumors going around that Tola and Mr. Mimer have a, a student like an inappropriate student um, teacher relationship. This book is cool. It shows the aftermath of rumors and how they can totally just ruin someone's life and how um, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. And I really like that because a lot of books just about anything or about how this something happens. But I really like this because it's the aftermath of that, if that makes any sense. Um, this book was really well written. It, um, was a really fast read actually. So the way it's written, it tells the story and then it has like a page or so about comments and it shows the comments from students and friends. It shows comments from students and friends and classmates and other teachers and family. First page, um, Mr. Mimer, you can already really visualize the teacher. There's great imagery and um, it's really well told and really realistic and it makes you feel like you're in the story. So, Tola is a really good character. She's very angsty, and, um, she has a lot of family issues, and it's obvious that, like, a lot is not right in her life, but she still finds a way to be humorous and look at the bright side of things. She's very, not necessarily, she's kind of a pessimist. She can be a pessimist, but she is humorous and she's witty and sarcastic and I love characters like that. I liked how different the characters were in here and how they really come alive. I also like the plot. It's really fast paced. Uh, you're never really left uh, just kind of like, all right, what's, when is this going to pick up? Mr. Mimer has all these like t-shirts with funny catchphrases like, um, like club sandwiches, not seals. Yoga is for posers. And then full frontal nerdy. Just shirts like that. And I thought that was cute because you never really, um, focus on stuff like that. And it's cool because the little details do help, uh, create a better world, I guess. Like the better story. So if you've read my review on the blog of Island Girls and Boys by Rachel Hawthorne, there's a girl in there named Chelsea who I absolutely hate. I rambled on about her in that right interview. There's a girl in here named Chelsea, who I absolutely hate. The thing is, you're supposed to hate Chelsea in this book. The book is told in narrative form, first person, by Tola, but you don't really find out if the rumors are true or not. She never really says it until the very end of the book. So you are kind of wondering um, whether or not she's telling the truth or not, or not necessarily telling the truth, but you are kind of wondering if the rumors are true. The climax of the book is her kind of getting even with a couple of things and or a couple of people and just like basically getting even with the world. And I thought um, that was like one of my favorite parts, the ending, because I thought it was really clever and it wasn't like two wrongs make a right type of thing. She didn't do exactly what the other person did, although she thought about it. She did it in a way that made it so she couldn't get herself in trouble, but she got back at that person and that person was like humiliated by it. The cover I think is really cute. It has um, the green apples, which I'm guessing kind of relate to Tola's green hair. And then it has the, <coughs> it has the one bad apple, you know. So I thought that was cool. It was an awesome book. It wasn't at all like I had expected. It was a great book. I definitely recommend you guys read this. It was well written. The characters were awesome. 
and well developed and they really came alive. But I also liked in the plot how it wasn't just focused about around um, the rumors. There was a little bit of um, subplot going around with um, Tola's family, which was cool because it didn't, it kind of made her more, um, it kind of let us get to know her more and it also made it so there, it was a more, um, there was more going on in the book than just that one rumor. Yeah, definitely pick up this book, 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, this is already out in paperback, so go ahead and get it. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.